Hey guys, so I wanted to give y'all an apartment tour. I'm actually moving out in a couple of days, so this apartment tour was a little rushed. Um, my apartment isn't decorated to how I wanted it to look quite yet, even though I've been living in it for about eight months already. It just takes way longer than I thought and a lot of money to really decorate a 900 square foot apartment. Um, so it might look a little empty, but I still hope y'all enjoy the apartment tour. And when I move into my new apartment, I'll also do like an empty apartment tour if y'all want to see that. And then later on as I decorate, I'll do like a, a furnished or whatever it's called, a decorated, no, that's not what it's called. I'll do an apartment tour for you guys. Another one, an updated one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this apartment tour. Like I said, I'll be moving in a couple of days. So, yeah. And if you're wondering, rent here is about $900. And for a 900 square foot, a little over 900 square foot apartment. And it is a one bedroom apartment as well. Also, I share this apartment with my former boyfriend. Yes. Um, it's complicated, okay guys? It's complicated. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Um, we could just say he's my ex. How about that? We'll just say I, I share my apartment with my ex. But when I move out, it'll be all mine. No sharing closet. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Anyways, talk to y'all later. Bye. Ooh, sexy. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh. Okay, so the one thing I like about this apartment complex is that they have valet trash. So we can just take our trash, sit it outside, and they'll come pick it up. So the first thing I wanted to show y'all is my Valentine's Day wreath. I made it out of a little parts that I got from Target, and I think it came out pretty cute. The wreath is from Target. The Magnolia brand, and I just stuck some hearts in it for Valentine's Day. Really festive and really cute. Maggie! There she goes. Maggie usually greets us at the door. She loves us. And then she bolts and she runs for it. Now she greets us at the top of the stairs. She always posts up there. Maggie! So when you first walk in, I got this little shelf from Wayfair. And I love it. It has these drawers in it. We just stick things in it. You can stick your keys in it. You can stick like a dog leash. We used to have a dog, so that would have been a good spot. And then it has these hooks here where you can hang your jacket, umbrella, yada yada, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And in this box that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think. No. Michaels, I think. You we stick our mail in it. So this apartment is would you say it's a one level or two level? Who's that, Mangy? I'd say it's on one level. The way this, this apartment lays out, yeah, we have stairs that go up to the main floor. So uh, let's go. Which, that's another thing I like. The stairs are inside. Um, I needed something in this space here. It's just an open cubby and I, it's really cute, really good idea. But I was like, what could I put in this open space? So I came across this vase from Target and I thought it looked pretty neat. I need to stick something in it, like some flowers or something. And the ceilings are pretty high. Nice high to the ceilings. ceilings. I forgot to mention the shoe rack. The shoe rack I think I got from, I don't know, some random website. Sorry guys. But we put our shoes in it. Well, we try to. And I think it's pretty clever if you want to store your shoes in something, but you don't want it to be like out in the open, you don't want people to see it. This thing's pretty awesome. Here is the living room. So I got this fur rug and I don't remember where I got it from. Table is from Pier 1. And the couch, nice, huge couch is from Macy's and I got this sectional so we can sit here stretch our legs out and then this blanket is actually from Morocco that I got from an Etsy shop um these things 
The walls were really plain, so I just needed something on the wall. These things, whatever they are, are from Target. These chairs are from Pier 1, and this lamp here, oh, Mangy, this lamp I got from Target. Mangy, come back, don't be scared. Mangy's food is here, and then I stuck her litter box in here. I don't know what this is. I think you're supposed to stick, like, whatever you want. DVDs in it. Like movies and stuff. You the could, TV. or like the surround system hookup, yeah. maybe. I don't know. But instead, I decided to stick her. It's, box it's in not there. meant for anything. You know, you can put what you want in there. And what I like about it is you can close it off. You don't even have to look at it or smell it. But we leave it open. What I wanted to do was put like a hole in it so she could just jump in and out. We don't have to look at it, but we just leave it open. And this bookshelf, empty, but it's a very good concept. So I stuck this elephant here that I got from Target just to hide all of that. Yeah, doesn't very look, doesn't really look good. And then I got this vase and this, this bull's head animal. It has a smiley like bull. I don't know what it is. My mom says it looks like the devil, but it's not. And then I got this nice candle. It's the gooey caramel from White Barn, a.k.a. Bath and Body Works. Pretty plain. Pretty empty. But that's okay. Okay. Maggie. Excuse me, Maggie. So for the vibe, the vibe of the living room that I was trying to achieve is like a bohemian on vacation yet still nice and cozy with the rug and the blanket I don't know if I achieved that or not I forgot to mention um, the stuff on the table so this little plant is from Pier 1 the marble dish which is actually pretty heavy marble is just heavy I got from Target and these coasters these coasters that are really cute. I got from Target and they're actually pretty heavy. I think it's some type of stone. I'm not sure what. But it glistens in the light. I don't know if y'all can see that. And these are from White Barn, aka Bath and Body Works. We got the butterscotch toffee in the Fiji White Sands. And I just have them here. We use them up. But I just have them here because it's cute. It looks good. It goes well with the vibe. And then on to the kitchen and the dining area. The kitchen, again, pretty plain. Uh, Anthony put in these awesome shelves that I got from Target. I love them. It gives like a nice dimension. <laughs> I don't know what the word would be. This candle I got from Zulily. I got this oh. candle from Zulily. Um, I don't remember the brand, but it's Snickerdoodle and it smells really good. I thought that was just a clothing app. Yeah, they have like everything. And I stuck an owl up there because I really like him. I thought he was really cute and really pretty. And he kind of matches me today, or I kind of match him today. Except I'm brown and he's white. Um, he is from... What? He's from Amazon. I have my Alexa here, and Anthony and I like to blast music every now and then, and sometimes Alexa will just speak without spoken to, and it freaks us out. Um, yeah, here's the freaks kitchen. Freaks you out. Here's the kitchen. It's really small. Um, I just stuck a rug here. Nice, soft rug. It's actually a bath mat. Here's my stash. I'm getting into tea. And so I like to drink tea in the morning and tea at night. I like to drink the Yogi Positive Energy and then Yogi Stress Relief. And then we also have like mm, the little powdered stuff. You can put in water so water tastes better. Oh, and I forgot about this one, my daily support. That's my favorite right there. And then of course, hot chocolate for those cold days. I forgot to mention we have a fireplace here so it's really nice to sit on the couch snuggle up 
watch a movie and drink hot chocolate next to the fireplace on like a very cold winter night it's really nice or if it's raining there's the pantry and refrigerator and something Anthony and I have been doing which is you've really been filling this thing up because <laughs> I don't think I've put anything in here well maybe like a couple of coins but yeah yeah we call this my boob fun fund boob fund my boob fund and yeah he's been racking it it's up got about $22 in there so far oh wow see last time I saw this I promise you it had like $5 in it because you had counted it so we're getting closer and closer to my boobies about three thousand more dollars to go <laughs> three thousand four thousand six thousand i don't know how much a boob job is eight thousand honestly me either <laughs> i got this awesome marble table which is extremely heavy uh from world market are you shaking your head no yes it's not that heavy oh yeah it is not to me this was kind of like a splurge. It was a little bit expensive, um, but I really like it. These chairs are from Target, and this vase with nothing in it is from Target. And I hope to put like flowers in it or something, like a palm leaf or something. Because I'm trying to get that beachy vibe. That's the word I was looking for, beachy vibe I'm trying to have with my apartment. The wall is blank. I really wanted to put like a picture or something up there, but I'm about to move out. Um, trash can. It's a nice, very nice trash can. And these bar stools, I forgot to mention. I got them from Let Go, actually. Somebody in my area was selling these bar stools, and I got them for a very, very, very good price. And Anthony, I don't remember what color they were originally. It was a brown color. A grayish color, I think. Gray. It was gray. Yeah. So they were originally like grayish. And then Anthony went in and sanded them. So it could just have that natural wood color that I'm going for. As you can see with the, the shelves and the fruit bowl and the wood table over there. I really wanted to go for like the natural earthy vibe. Fireplace. I forgot to show the fireplace. Love it. It really works. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> and then the big old TV. I love this TV. I actually have a fire stick and we watch like everything. Everything. I love fire stick. If you don't have one, get a fire stick. Anthony loves Hulu. So I don't know what to say about Hulu. I'm not really a fan. I'm a I'm a new Hulu user and I like it. You like it? Hulu is more if you like television shows and yeah. anime and stuff like that. And I think Netflix is more movie wise, even though Hulu I don't have the full Hulu subscription, so I don't have a lot of movies, so Hulu might be better than Netflix. <laughs> they have a more broad variety of movies. I just don't have the full subscription so I can't watch them. Wow. Yeah, I'm the five ninety nine membership right now. The upgrade is twelve ninety nine. No, eleven ninety nine. That's for no ads, more movies and TV shows. I was thinking get like to switch between the deals, you know, pay the eleven ninety nine for like a month or two, then switch back to the five ninety nine. Sounds like a lot of work. All right, so back to the apartment tour. Um, this is where. The magic happens. The dryer, and this is what I call the dishwasher. And Anthony corrects me every time and says it's not a dishwasher, it is a washing machine. And he's correct. It is a washing machine. These doors. They get stuck sometimes. They get stuck sometimes. And bedroom. So here is our bedroom. And like I said, I want it to go for that beachy vibe, um, I don't know if I achieved it or not. I think, I think I did pretty good. 
So right here is, I like to hang this purse that I got from actually Walmart. I like to hang this here because it really gives that beachy vibe. I don't know. It just really looks good in the room, okay? These pictures of, what? what is this, a banana leaf split something? The <laughs> I used to know the name of these leaves, okay? Of these plants. Anthony actually made these and he hung them up and they look really good. It goes with the theme of the room. This four drawer dresser I got from Urban Outfitters. And this little purse, I, um, where is this from? Amazon? And I just stuck it here because it just, it goes with the vibe. It looks good. Um, this is Anthony's side. And he has these cute little monkeys that I got him from China. China. They're so cute. It's the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys. Yes. Very cute. Hmm? You gotta do no evil. I think. Is that? Oh. Uh, I think it's that, that part of it. I think it's that fourth one on the left. Do no evil. Yeah, I think oh. it's speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil, do no evil. Oh. Um, this nice stand is from Urban Outfitters. It matches the dresser. The rug is from RugsUSA.com, I think. Um, this thing. This basket is from Target. Uh, these things are from Michaels and they're super cute. Just a little decoration. Bud Comforter is from Macy's. Pillows. This pillow is from Target. This pillow is from Target. And this pillow is from Target. And the, the sheets, the pillowcase and the sheets are from Target. I actually stole this idea from Target. Because they had like a picture of a bedroom and I thought it was really nice. So. And then they even had something like this going on in the picture. So I kind of recreated it and did something my own style. This piece of fabric I got from wholesalefabric.com. And Mango likes to pull on it. <laughs> she loves playing with this thing. But I just draped it over the bed like a canopy. Um, and I have two sticks holding it up that I got from outside. Yeah, and then I painted it. <laughs> Sorry if it looks a little different. I had to change the settings. It should look better. It should look like more true to color. These straps I made, and it hurt. It really hurt. It hurt a lot to make those. Because I didn't have like something to punch a hole in the leather strap, so I had to do it with a knife. And it was really complicated. A piece of leather, I got that from Amazon as well as the hardware. I got it from Amazon. And then Anthony, he like screws some hooks in the ceiling and put this whole thing together. And it looks really good. And I'm really happy about it. Um, the headboard. The headboard is from Target, I think. No, Pier 1. But Target has one similar. And it just gives the whole room that beachy vibe that I was going for. So this basket I got from Target. And right now it just has like some sheets and this pillow in it. That we usually have on the bed. But today I decided to use that one. And then the closet. Wow. I got a lot of stuff. Okay. So I have this shoe rack and I love it. If you don't have one, get one. I just hang it over the door and then in the closet is most of my stuff. So I have my clothes here, some clothes here, some clothes here, some more clothes right here. I like to fold as many of my clothing items as I can because I think it's easier that way. Um, so I folded my jeans. Uh, I folded my jeans here and it's it just fits perfectly. It's awesome. Um, poor Anthony. So we were going to split the closet. And I kind of ran him out. I feel really bad. So he had this portion right here. And as you can see, it turned into my portion. He's such a nice guy. He's so nice. Um, that's his portion. <laughs> On the floor. 
I feel so bad. And then he has a few stuff up here. Yeah. There's some more clothes and some boots and yeah. hats over here. This is pretty small, but I mean, it's big enough for one person. It's big enough for, okay. You got a lot of stuff like me. You might think it's small, but it's a good size. Um, And then on around this dresser, and yes, it's a different color than that one. It's more like a peachy color because they sold out of the other color. Um, and I was gonna stain it that color, but I actually like, I like this. I like the contrast. Big old TV. Um, all of my stuff is in here and all of Anthony's stuff is in that one. I forgot to mention. So I didn't take over the whole room. So this thing I got is from Wayfair and it's huge. It's huge and it's heavy and it's bulky. But I really like it because it goes with like that beachy thing that I'm trying to achieve. And inside I have a whole bunch of swimsuits. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Over here, I got this awesome mirror from Kirkland, and I love this mirror. And over here, not very pretty, but this is Mango's litter box. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know why this is here. This is here because Mango wouldn't stop peeing on my bed. And ever since I put this here, she stopped peeing on my bed. But I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why she was peeing on my bed. I thought it was for attention. I didn't know. But I guess it's because she's incompetent. I'm just kidding. Um, I think it's because she's just so attached. My bed. She's so attached to me that she will piss on herself, basically. She will piss on this bed, on me, on top of me, instead of just going into the living room using the bathroom. So I had to put that um, litter box there. And she loves it. She loves jumping inside of it. It works great. She messed up my previous covers that were white. She pissed in it so much, so I had to buy it. This is my second one! Okay, sorry. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. He loves me. You love me. You love me. Love me, Mango. Love me. Ouch. Love me, baby. Um, and now we're working our way over to my side. So this is my side. Same. I stand. Tissues. This thing from icing, I... This was my failed attempt at decorating. It's a nice little dream catcher. Oh, thanks. Protect you from the bad dreams. So this is actually my favorite part of the apartment, I must say. Even though I spend like the least time here. This thing, I thought it would look really cute. It goes with like the theme of the apartment. It's a macrame, I believe that's what it's called. And I got it from Target. So. I wanted to have this to prevent like bugs from coming in when I want to have the door open. I don't really think it does the job, but it's still cute. So let's walk on through. And here is the outdoor area. The balcony. So I love this thing right here. It is from Article and it is a day bed actually that I'm using for like as like a bench. So I love this thing. And I'm obsessed with pillows. So I have a million pillows on it. The duck is laughing at me right now. can't see him but he's over there so this blanket is from world market and all of the pillows are from target except for this one is from michael's and this one and this one is from walmart but this thing is nice you can come out here when the weather is nice and warm 
lay out with your boo, read a book, go to sleep. Ah, you can do a lot on this thing. It's huge. I love it. And it has the rat tan that I'm kind of going for throughout this whole place. The rug is from Wayfair, I think. I really like it. The pillow is from a store. It's from an uh, Etsy store? Yeah. The pillow is from Etsy. From a store at Etsy. The back side is actually custom made because I asked the person if they could have like the back side to be white, front side to be black, vice versa, whatever. This could be the back side, this could be the front side, anyways. So, and it's like a 36 inch pillow. This thing needed like a pillow for it, so I think it works out perfectly and it fits pretty good. This is actually a swing chair that I got from, I think, Wayfair again. So it has like the rope back here so you can tie it up to the ceiling, but there's nowhere to hang it on the ceiling. But I think it would look really cute inside actually. Like by like a nice big window. So maybe I'll do that for my next apartment. But I just tied it to like this Papazon, Papazon stand, chair stand. And it's working out pretty nicely. The curtains from Target. And I tied some little pom-poms to the bottom. So I really like how that came out. Curtain rod. It's kind of hard to see, but it's also from Target. And... I didn't realize that the lights weren't working until I turned the lights on. So this side, the lights are off. Lights are on on this side, so it looks a little ratchet. But what can you do? So I really like this during the summertime. We close it off, and it's pretty private. It keeps bugs out, so it's a really good idea. And then here, it's like a storage closet. All right, let's go back inside. Maggie wants to come in. Come out. Come out. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> also, this I got from China, and it's something I see on like the cars for good luck or something. Dang, girl. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Fun fact about the monkeys on my nightstand: they're my favorite animal. That's why she got them for me. Yes, exactly. Forgot to mention that. Bye, Maggie. Next room is the bathroom. Let's go in. This has like, I don't know, the air vent or something. What is it called? I don't know. It has the, uh, the unit in there, the, which controls the thermostat and has the filter in there. Yeah. So, this is the bathroom, and we have this empty space here. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put this awesome bookshelf that I got from Target. I love it. Up here is this basket. I'm sure it's from Target. We just store, like, face. I store my face stuff in it, random stuff. On this shelf, we have Q-tips that we use pretty regularly. This glass canister we got from Target. This is from Target, the Magnolia brand, and I just stuck some washcloths in it. And this is Q-tips. Cotton balls. <laughs> and these are just some cotton balls that we don't really use. Right. Down here is some bath soap and stuff. I don't know, I just bought it because it went with like the colored theme the color scheme or whatever. This is from Magnolia, it's bath salt. It doesn't smell very good, but like I said, it goes with like the theme. It actually looks like sand, so I really like that. Going for that beach vibe. And this is some hand soap and some lotion from the Magnolia collection, as well as some shampoo and conditioner from Maui. And I just like that it went with the color scheme. So, we don't really use this stuff. There. Down here is some more bath salt that I wanted to fill. I wanted to fill this whole thing up with bath salt, but it didn't work out. And it's pretty dusty. And then down here, I got this huge basket from the Magnolia Collection at Target. And we just store some extra towels in it. 
All right, this might sound weird, but I freaking love a little heavy marble <laughs> garbage can. I love it. It's just so chic. Like it's like luxurious. Cause it's like twenty pounds. It's so if heavy. Not more. If you drop this on your toe, you, your toe is gone. You don't have a toe anymore. I don't know where I got this thing from. Target has some that are similar. Um, towels are from. Oops. Towels are from Target. Very nice. This thing, you can actually put it like on the tub when you're in the bathtub, taking a bath, and read a book, drink some wine, get on your tablet, maybe, not sure about that, but it's really nice and it kind of matches the bookshelf, so I really like this. Um, shower curtains are from Bed Bath & Beyond. I like the gold, it's nice. And these are from Target. Again, it's gold. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, I like to wipe my ass with baby wipes. <laughs> this really gets you clean. I wipe my ass with this. And then I'll go back over it with this. And I feel like really clean. Because sometimes you'll wipe your ass with like this. <laughs> what? You're doing an apartment tour and got to talking about wiping your <laughs> ass. Anyways, I used to just wipe my ass with this, but guys, if you just wipe your ass with toilet paper, you might miss a spot. And you'll have like streaks or whatever in your underwear or something. Or not, but still, like people can smell you probably. I don't know. Just clean up with this. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe everybody's different, you know, maybe your soap is like killer or something. So you don't need that. You just need this and you're good, like your ass is clean. Um, don't flush these down the toilet. Throw them away. I don't have a duvet, but I would try a duvet. Is that what it's called? A duvet? A duvet or a duvet? Um, duvet. Yeah, the thing that like shoots water up here. I would try that, but like, I don't know. So, I just hop in the shower and rinse off. What's wrong with you? Anyway, so yeah, oddly enough, I just had to buy this one because it matches, kind of, not really, so I just leave that there if people want to wipe their ass with a baby wipe instead of, like, tissue paper because baby wipes are better. This is a mirror that has, like, stuff in it. Oops. I don't want you to see what's in it because it's a hot mess, but medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, and this, I have to show this. So, I love this thing. You can put it on the, on your cabinet doors. And you just put stuff that you reach for a lot in it. That's what I do. But it's really for, like, I don't know, your hot tools. Like, flat iron, curling iron, and all your hair products or something like that. So, I just put it right there and I can easily get to what I need. Really like it. I also forgot to show y'all this awesome rug. Uh, I... Not sure where I got it from, but I love it. I never seen anybody put a fur rug in a bathroom. It just gives it a nice chic look to the bathroom. I love it. The only issue is you definitely can't get the rug too wet or the fur will curl up. So I didn't show my fur rug in the bathroom because I was actually getting it cleaned and forgot to pick it up yesterday. So I got it today and here it is fits perfectly in the bathroom. I just love it. And that's it! Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, I need to head to work, but I forgot to show y'all the little den area of my apartment. As you can see right behind me, I really love that they thought about bringing in the natural lighting. Let me show y'all um, the window. Also, y'all are on my desk right now. So let me show y'all my desk and my plant over here that you also can't see. Hold on. I decided to turn into like just a little study area where I have my desk. This big window that I love so much. And I also like to do my makeup here. This desk is actually from Urban Outfitters. So it matches all the other furnitures. And when you open it up, it's my big mess with all my makeup in it. So I love that if it's 
all my makeup. A nice big mirror. I was thinking about hanging the swing chair here. Have it just hang down. It's this big window and I can just look outside and read a book and relax. Listen to music. The ceilings go pretty high up in this little nook area, but maybe I'll do that in my next apartment. And down there is just the little wooden wastebasket that goes with that natural wood look that I'm going for. In this corner, I stuck my palm leaf tree. I did have this plant in the living room. But it was just so plain over here, I decided to stick it in that corner. The plant is actually dying. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's so sad. She was doing so good. But I think the cold air from leaving the balcony door open is the cause of that. Mango would meow at the door, so I would leave it open for Mango to play. Speaking of Mango, that is her cat tree over there with all her toys. Over here, I have this shoe cubby that I use just to put some more clothes in that I fold up. These are all my bottoms here. It's another way that I like to store my clothes but it also looks very very like like it was meant to be there. It looks like decoration, does it not? So I really like that right there and I really like how this turned out. It looks great. Another thing I love about this apartment is the amount of windows that they have. I love it. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So that was it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, happy Valentine's Day. If it's Valentine's Day, I think it will be Valentine's Day or past Valentine's Day. But I hope y'all had a happy Valentine's Day whenever y'all are watching this. Um, and I hope y'all enjoyed my apartment tour. I can't wait to move into my new apartment and if you're wondering about my dress i got this dress from fashion nova thank y'all for watching love y'all bye